Hey guys, what's up? It's Border Baller back here for day 10 of our Pokemon TCG pocket journey. About a third of the way there, and we still got a little bit left we gotta go through um, just to kind of, you know, test the waters and see everything. But I feel like most of the at this point, we've gotten to a flow, you know, experience in the game. But starting with our tradition for this episode, I actually have a two parter here. So I'm going to show these two cards right here. They are Latios and Latios Delta species, specifically from the Holon Phantom set. I actually had to look this up because they, <laughs> these are like incredibly old. Um, and if you'll see on this side of me, I got it right this time, um, they're actually not dragon types. They are specifically different types that kind of match their color. And while this is kind of situational for um, specifically the Delta species, Pokemon. Delta Species is an incredibly cool idea that I don't think that they really took far enough. Um, of all the things that I think that they could really bring back to like the primary TCG, you know, the, the actual printed sets. I know the one that most people were asking about was like Team Rocket cards and Gym Leader and like Pokemon Trainer cards, which we are have seen is actually on its way. But uh, Delta Species, I think, needs some love too. And even though we got some sort of new ones, some new takes on it from the Pokemon Celebration set, I think that we could do with seeing some more. So those are going to be my picks for the day, but let's go ahead and do our pack opening. And again, who would have guessed it? I'm still going to open up Mewtwo because I am so desperate to get some more of these psychic type Pokemon to try and create a deck around. Give this a spin -a here. Stop. Click this one. Slice it open. Lazuli got that one, Grimer, Golurk, Wubat, and Vaporeon. I actually managed to get three new Pokemon there. All some pretty cool Pokemon. I may have to take a look at that Vaporeon because it may be something we could add to that water deck we had brewing. It's not really, you know, nothing fantastic about that deck, but hey, I guess it got us that one one. And uh, I think we haven't opened up Pikachu in a little bit. I think last episode it was Charizard. Go ahead and select this one. Ooh, this one's turned backwards. Trying to hide from me. Or literally just like, I swiped it. Uh, Pikachu, we actually didn't have that one. Squirtle, Nidorino, and Bisharp. Pretty decent. This is four brand new cards. Swipe it up. ever so slightly making our way and we actually managed to get the 90 different cards so i think there will be a mission that we can redeem for that back up since that are the packs for the day go ahead and take a look at our wonder picks so i've only got two here meaning that i will probably have to go for one that is either not like an uncommon card like the guard of war that's here or um, specifically just go for some commons. At the moment, I'm not really seeing anything that's catching my eye. It may just be that Gardevoir one. Keep scrolling, even down here. Yep, I think I'm going to take my shot. So let's scroll back up here. Try and get this one. There is a chance that we could get uh, two other Pokemon that we haven't seen. I think it was Heliolisk and Coughing, which would both be pretty okay. And we will go ahead and pick a card, pick the top left one here, and got Dratini. So that is a Pokemon that we already did have. Go ahead and at least add it to the collection, though. And of course, some luck. Thank you. All right, we'll exit out here. And so now there are a couple things that I need to do. Um, in the very top right, I noticed there was a gift for me to redeem. I wonder if this is somebody, yeah, thanking you for the battle. Appreciate that. And then I also think that uh, there there isn't a notification for this because I kind of uh, went through it really quickly when I was just checking my app before starting for the day. And yes, they actually send us a friend request too. So you know what? Go ahead and accept that. Thank you very much. Maybe we'll see uh, Black again on the online scene later on. Might even have an opportunity to trade even down the line. So I think besides that, we still have our daily. 
free stuff that can be redeemed. To take a look here, we do have a bunch of our shop things to redeem, and I might do so just for like the accessories, you know, the things that are kind of exclusive for this current set. But realistically, what's going to happen is when this game gets fully released, you know, worldwide, they're pretty confident with having it be available to everyone for download. Um, I do think a lot of this stuff is still going to stay here because what would be the point of having an introductory set and then have it completely disappear like that this is basically the pre-release of the game and then they just cut you off it's like oh, okay if you weren't there you didn't have diligence to go out of your way to play the game early then you know you're you're out of luck so we still are very low on these emblems here which again if i miss out on these i'm not really sure i'll care much um i don't know the pikachu one's cute but other than that, I think we're pretty okay here. Go ahead and take a look at the missions. Should be able to complete these all. Grab our four hourglasses for the day. And we've also got the 90 cards now, so we'll get an extra nine of these. Okay, and the gaps are starting to get really large, so there's 100, which is just 10 past what we had before uh, for the 90. And then you've got 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, and 220. So it looks like you're going to have a bit of a grind to get there. But again, you play every day. Should be able to get some of those taken care of. Nothing new for the decks because we didn't get any special EXs. Uh, I didn't check the theme collection, but I think if we had something that would have completed it out, we would have had a notification for it. So... Let's go back to battle, and what we're going to do is uh, take a look at some of the fire battles we did. Yeah, I think there's this one that we can attempt with the water, the water deck we have here. Before doing this, I should have taken a look at that Vaporeon just to see if it was worth adding, but... Ease what it is. Farfetch is pretty okay here. I'll also go ahead and put down Psyduck. As long as we leave two spots open, one for um one for Articuno EX and one for what's it? Um Holy cow, I cannot think of their name. It, it's the the fish with the lips. <laughs> gonna see here nope all right attach and we're actually going to get a KO here because they decided to put in Rattata up here first I don't know why I want to say bear Skeeter. that is, is not who it is not even the same game or generation So I could use that, so that way they can get Raticate. I definitely see why they'd want to do that. Kind of hoping that uh, we draw into something that we might can retreat Farfetch into here. But I think it's just better off that we let him get KO'd. Going to do our attack and then that'll be it. We'll have the next far fetch ready. Also, I did realize we're technically failing a mission because I'm pretty sure one of them was prevent your opponent from getting any points, but I don't know that we really are capable of doing that with, with this deck right now. We basically got a bunch of glass cannons and boy. Drawing into a lot of the kind of generic cards we have here. Farfetch day, I'm completely fine with. But some of the rest of these guys, I don't know. But there's this one hair. Okay, I finally got it. It was in front of my left eye. It was absolutely bugging me. Charizard EX. Okay, that's a little scary. We are definitely going to need one of our big boys to come out. Okay, Bruxish. That was the name. That's good enough. Uh, 
Okay. I'm thinking ahead here. I'm pretty sure we will need to... I'm going to use just a regular retreat with Farfetch'd here. I'm not actually going to use the X speed. I've already used my attach on Bruxish. That's good. I'm going to bite here. The important thing that I wanted to get accomplished is I want to make sure that this Charizard EX will have to KO in two turns instead of one. This Slash would have KO'd us if we left Farfetch'd in, but we'll actually be able to tack on an extra uh, 40 here. So how do I need to go about this? So if I retreat and go into Farfetch'd again, it'll be another 40, so they're at 100. Yeah, so nothing is preventing them from getting a KO next turn, which is kind of unfortunate. You know what we really need to see here? We really need to see um, Golduck. I think we may have to play for that as the win con. Because I don't see any combination of switching here that prevents our opponent from just using Slash or Crimson Storm. Because they'd be able to use Crimson Storm if I sent him Brexish. They do 90 damage, which would be just... 10 damage shy of a normal KO. Like being able to KO with any one of our mons next turn. Yeah, I'm going to, to go ahead and... Oh, that was not what I meant to do. Okay. What? What just happened? What just happened? Oh my god, I'm on auto battle. It's so, it's so Jover. It's... <laughs> oh no, it's Jover. Wow, I get to do this, and guess what? He lives on... 20 HP, cool. Uh, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Didn't see our big boys there. We only really saw Bruxish. We didn't get Golduck or the Articuno EX. Let's do this. I'm gonna get rid of Lickitung, and we are going to get rid of a. Get rid of Eradicate. So these EVs are just the exact same, they just have different HP values. Mmm, 130 and being able to kill 30 damage is pretty decent. Let's go ahead and try that. Look, I need my run back, I need it. I'm fiending for it. We actually didn't even start with a very bad hand either. We got a good amount of supporters and items to kind of draw us into what we needed on the first turn. Just missed out on some of the rest of it. Uh, we'll go ahead and put far the other Farfetch'd down. I kind of expect that we're going to need to play here. This will be a first turn KO unless they decide to specifically use their Retreat with Rattata. Okay, Pokeball, this has a good chance of hitting Psyduck. We've got two of them. Awesome. That is exactly what we wanted to see. Alright, nothing else we can really do. Don't want to put Rattata on the bench since we've actually got some pretty good Mons here. Again, can't evolve into Rattata yet. Open double Pokeball. Okay. did actually retreat. That is incredibly smart by the AI. I am in Aukenshaw. Mm, I could use Sabrina this upcoming turn. That might be a really good idea. I'll go ahead and do an Evolve here. I will keep the Eevee in my hand. Since we're just going to be committing a bunch of water energies to Golduck here for the time being. They had the evolution for both of those. That seems really good. Okay, Pokeball might see... Yeah, I was hoping to see Articuno EX. 
here's okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to try and KO this Moltres, and I'm going to hope that he doesn't get another like super decent basic Pokemon on his bench. So land it. That's completely fine. Rapidash is also fine. I'm a little surprised he even went for that. So let's do this. We're gonna we're gonna do some cheeky plays here. Catch the Farfetch'd. X speed. Treat. Put in this Farfetch'd. League slap. Nope, that's fine. So now Rapidash is within KO range, and they would have to retreat into Rattata to live and attack. They decide not to. Another Psyduck is good here, or would be good here if we had another Golduck. <laughs> We're not in danger of anything right now, and I think what I'd like to do is if they put up Raticate, I'm actually going to use Sabrina just to force out whatever else will be on their bench because Golduck should be able to KO anything else. Probably would have been wise for me to put Rattata down just so that way we'd have Eradicate ready. Yep, because they're going to use Bite here. But we're out of range, because even if they did another attack here, it wouldn't be enough. So we're going to Sabrina. Anything that they bring in here is going to get KO'd. I was trying to see how I might can use the potion here. But no matter what, the Eradicate will do just enough to all of my Pokemon to KO. Let's do this, hold on. Let's do Aqua Edge. So we're gonna put him Raticate, try and get a KO here. I imagine. All right. So now, Ah, let me see Articuno. Now. now what we're going to do is we're going to put in Raticate. We're going to force them to retreat. So they have to do one of two things, or a couple things have to happen. They either, one, have to have the evolution for Charmeleon, meaning that they'll have Charizard ready. They have to, two, have a potion in their hand, so that way our Raticate doesn't uh, outspeed, like, you know, out energize their Raticate. Or they just need something else, because at this point I am threatening a KO on any Pokemon. And that's where Charizard DX comes in. <laughs> yep. Okay, so this is gonna be a bit harder now. Raticate is going to live here. See, this is a bad thing of having a bunch of the uh, Pokemon on the bench. So if I do 40 and then 90, I think that'll be just enough to sweep through the rest of the team, isn't that right? 130 and then do 60. Yeah, I think that's just enough. Again, we're not going to be able to do that, uh, challenge where we are just shy but with the way things are current what we'll be able to do is we're going to be able to send in Golduck here do some extra damage or if I send in well no no I'd be I'd be putting myself in a bad situation if I put in Bruxish Articuno kind of guarantees us this game here just because of the higher HP. I'm going to red card here. Yeah, 
healing gold dog does nothing for us here. So it'll be just shy and Articuno will be able to basically KO every every Pokemon here but Salazzle. Alright. So with some very sneaky retreats here and there, able to preserve our Pokemon, keep ourselves healthy, and now we should be Dunskies. I'm going to put an Eevee here, go ahead and heal Farfetch'd. Not sure what of, what all of the um, missions that we had to do besides the turn 14, and then also I think KO mostly with water type Pokemon, which did not happen, I do not think. Yeah, Golduck was keeping us in the game there for a good bit. Yeah, 19 turns. Ah, so we actually did end up beating that task. I thought uh, Farfetch was going ham, but looks like we were able to clutch that one out. And um, let's go ahead and do another online random match. Now that was very fast, much faster than before. I'm a beginner, go easy on me. Anybody who has that is most definitely not a beginner. Okay, we could be in a lot of danger here. Okay, I was going to say we could be in a ton of danger if we don't see a, uh, another basic Pokemon. Put breakfast down, please. Thank you. Um, I'm going to hold Articuno EX for now. About the worst that could happen is they decide to red card in the first turn. Okay, so that's good that I've kept my red card. They should be able to play a couple of these. Car okay, they decided not to play any of them. Does that mean that they did not open with anything? Um... In that case, I'm actually going to hold off on using the red card, because if they don't have any other basic Pokemon, then this means if they don't draw into it next turn, then I would actually win. Yeah. So I believe that this was gone over in the tutorials, but something that is brought up is that if you do not have any Pokemon to put on your bench to take place of your active Pokemon, you actually just lose. It is literal, quite literally Jovert. <laughs> okay, they got a bunch of items they're able to play here. And wow, they are going to be just shy knocking out my Eradicate. That's really rough. Okay. Hmm. Good news is, is that when Bruxish is able to attack, we'll actually be able to get some damage for a KO here. Can Professor's Research. To a Professor's Research. Uh, let's go out and Red Garden. Alright, and... Again, yeah, there's a very low odds that they'd have anything to KO us this next turn. I don't think anything like a power-up plus exists in this game yet. Alright, so they do have Squirtle ready to put on the bench. They have their own Articuno EX. Are they going to retreat here is the question. I don't think they are. Yeah. Go ahead and put down our Articuno. So we're at 20, what does Squirtle do? It's gonna do 20. Use Professor's Research, not Sabrina this turn. Drawing into EV is incredibly good. See, Farfetch'd. So yeah, let's use this potion here so that way they can't KO Bruxus this next turn. And we'll use second strike to get this KO.
Yeah, they'll have to put in Articuno EX here, yeah. So Ice Wing will KO. Ooh, uh, one thing I did run into an issue here I just noticed is I was hoping Articuno only had a single retreat cost, but it does not. That is very bad for us. I was hoping we'd have Vaporeon ready in the time... I think the only thing that can save us here is Sabrina. Yeah, in turn. Because they're guaranteed to do 120 damage here. They could also draw into their own Sabrina and KO us here. Okay, no. Yeah. Just got slightly outsped by our opponent. That, uh, er super early KO on, um... I think it was Raticate is what really did us in. Alright. GG's though, that's kind of crazy they were playing the same deck that we were, or well, okay. I over-exaggerate when I say the same deck, but pretty much had a bunch of the same hitters, had Golduck, had uh, Articuno EX. I figure they probably also had Blastoise EX in that deck, if I had to imagine. But alright. It is what it is. Oh, I did. Did I receive the thanks? Is that what it? Okay, cool. Very nice. I'm glad that that, that, that is so soon after uh, just defeating the game. Even in the jaws of defeat, it still get some some consolation prizes here and there. Then again, the, I feel like you're really doing a disservice if you're not just gonna thank people since it gives you know you're able to redeem items in the shop with these things. So the more you play, hey, the more you're actually getting these tickets to redeem. There might be a caveat. I'm not really sure if there's a limitation on how many things you can receive per day. That's not something I've really looked into. Um, but we may get something like that announcement as we get sooner to release. More, you know, information will be officially announced. Uh, but for the meantime, yeah, we basically just got other content creators and Pokemon websites like Cerebi, Bulbapedia, just wherever to uh, kind of give us the, the full lowdown on this stuff. But anyways, that's going to be it for me today. I do appreciate y'all coming by once again to view the journey. Didn't really pop off in any particular thing today, but I did at least get some good missions done during the Charizard EX and also just kept bolstering our collection to get some uh, more missions done. So, bit of a slower day, but still appreciate y'all sticking around for the ride. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic night or day wherever you may be, and I will see you guys tomorrow for day 11. Sleep!